What's going on guys? So today we're going to do a review, well a three month review of our new 7x14 enclosed trailer. Uh, we bought this about three months ago at the end-ish of the middle or I guess beginning or wherever, some part of the leaf season because um, our smaller one over there just wasn't cutting it. Uh, we had to put another crew out. So we bought this 7x14 and I'm just going to go over how we have it set up. So you got the side door. We go in. To the right we have the cans, oil, everything mixed. You got the edger blades, spare tire. And also on the right we have the string trimmer line where it's easy access to the side door all season long. Uh, just some random hooks locks things like that little toolboxes up here um go in here we got the light here um the back or the sidewall there i have like a it's like a sticky whiteboard uh we put in our other trailer too about two seasons ago this is great because if there's any messages i need to leave the guys out on the route you know for example like certain cutting heights things like that and, and jokes obviously up there but you know just just messages or if it's a new guy like i said certain cutting heights with the specific mowers uh but in here we pretty much run the 48 uh he's actually pulled up more but we have the 48 we have the 32 and a push mower up there the honda uh that's pretty much what we run in this trailer um we're gonna go over the 6x10 over there and that we pretty much run 148 in a walk behind and that's now solely just for commercial work two three days a week doing commercial property so we're not swapping mowers out of trailers and dealing with that nonsense um we got the racks on the side i did put a backpack blower down here just so again it's easy access to the side door the handheld guy up here string trimmers and I keep the edger on the left hand side. So when we get out of the truck, it's usually two, three man crews. Everyone comes to the back. Someone goes to the left, grabs the edger to the right, the string trimmer, and then the mower guy. I don't have two guys on one side bumping into each other. So that has worked out tremendously ever since I moved one, moved the edger over to the other side a couple years ago. Um, and that's about it. I did put the non-skid floors on. Uh, the, the paint that is, it's just the gritty type stuff, which has been great because when it rains, you know, you slip a little bit or the mower kind of skids up the ramp, but perfect. Uh, we did it to the other trailer too. Definitely an easy, just an easy process painted on like regular paint, nothing to it. Um, again, we run two backpack blowers too, three trimmers. You know, just this is just your basic setup. Some grass seed in case, you know, we cut up a couple spots in the summer. Um, and that's about it. So, with this trailer. Um, it does have the light up there, obviously, you know, but we don't cut grass at night, so it doesn't really matter. Um, that's, I mean, that's really to it. Uh, the side door is pretty good. The only thing I don't like is we can't drill anything into the side door which I'm not a fan of, but I've never really seen guys drill much into there. So I thought it'd be good for hand tools and stuff, but you know, it is what it is. So over here you have obviously your breakaway switch, your electric, um, you know, the winch, all that. Nothing really to it, just your basic enclosed trailer. It does have the electric brakes. The Easy Grease Zerks, which is great. And this is a Pace American trailer. Um, we've always run Wells Cargo, and they've been great. I think those two over there are Wells Cargo. Uh, the, the dump trailer actually isn't. But anyway, Pace has been great. This is the Outback version, where there's a little more tread on the tires. So that is pretty sweet, actually. Um, no complaints there. So that's been nice. Uh, it does have the vents on both sides. Um, you know, I did undercoat it. I go over everything when we get it because a lot of these trailers are made cheap nowadays with, with doing the easy stuff like the paint. You know what I mean? So, 
and that is a 2 5 16 coupler um, you know that's really it guys you know you have the the hitch here to hold the side door open uh, every we have the tarps over the wheels because they salt these roads in the summer and everything's pretty much winterized we're just I know this guy hasn't been used um, and we do run the Ram 1500 with it which tows it beautifully man this is a 2014 tradesman it's been great um, never any issues still under warranty we bought it almost brand new uh, you can see someone drove with the uh, tailgate down a couple years ago that was great uh, we have the hand winch here in the back and we have the tarp up there in case we have to use this truck for leave sometimes we have the dump trailer and the open trailer so it's never a problem but um, that's about it guys I mean the logo is great I love how the logo turned out on it we do have the Facebook stickers at the bottom, which which is nice. Nice little touch to it. Also, some sweet stickers up here. But that's about it. You know, there's it's just a basic enclosed trailer. There's nothing really, you know, there's no major science behind these things. Uh, we did get this with the, uh, the one, again, this Outback version had the reinforced plywood on the sides, which has been great, you know, drilling things into, obviously. Um, keep the cans up there. We fuel everything up in the morning. Rarely have to fill, fill up during the day unless, you know, the push mower or sometimes the 32. But usually in the summer, the guys will leave the mix there. So it's in the side door. Again, easy access in and out. Um, and again, that's about it. So, all right. You know, we got nothing else really we're doing to it. Uh, we found that American flag on the ground this summer and uh can't leave it there so we took her in um built this rack here it's nothing really perfect but again guys throw their crap up there in the summer and it's good for a little tool holder i don't know if i showed you um but yeah besides that i think that's that's about it um so, and actually the fenders here are actually pretty heavy duty. Usually they're like thin and I was really surprised. You know, I, I, I mean, I guess that's good. It'll protect the tires or, you know, kicking up stones. But uh, this thing does light up like a plane at night. There's lights down here on the sides, up top and on the back and on the front here. It's pretty nice. But again, you know, we're not cutting grass at night. So it's still nice to have. But all right, guys, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, soon we're going to do a review again on the dump trailer. We have the Ram 2500 we use mainly with that. This is mainly the mowing rig. You know, we have the 1500. And then if we're cutting grass, like I said, I got one crew out five days a week and then another crew out two to three days cutting grass. Usually the 2500's towing this one and then that Ram's towing the smaller trailer for the commercials. So we'll get to all that too. But. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it.